Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live here on the Mount of Olives with the background of the Temple Mount, the Dome of the Rock as well, uh, and future site of the Third Temple. It is uh, believed that it is going to be built adjacent to the Dome of the Rock in the very near future. But it's a special time right now. This is also the day of Pentecost and Shavuot according to the uh, Jewish calendar. And I want to share with you a little bit about this. Shavuot, by the way, is the Hebrew word, means weeks, it's the plural form. And it's also the representation of the 50 days after, 50 days after uh, the Passover that God brought, came down and appeared to the Jewish people there uh, and in a, in a cloud of fire and delivered to them the Ten Commandments and the two statutes that Moses gave there on Mount Horeb. But let's first, let's start with the book of Acts, and then I'm going to bring back some very interesting insights for you that I'm sure will be a blessing to you. We know in Acts chapter 2, we read here, verse 1, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house and where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues, like as of the fire, and it sat upon each of them. And when they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as, as the Spirit gave them utterance, and they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews devout men, out of every nation and under heaven. Under heaven. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? Now this is what happened on the day of Pentecost. Now there's much more to the story. Take the time, read the book of Acts. It'll be a true blessing to you. But I want to share with you where this comes from and also share with you the important biblical significance of what happened here on the day of Pentecost Two, nearly 2,000 years ago, what happened when they received the Holy Ghost 50 days after that Passover then? It's in perfect harmony with the Scripture. Let's take and let's go to Deuteronomy. Now, Deuteronomy is not the actual event, but Deuteronomy in chapter 4, verses 1 through 16. A little lengthy, guys, but we need to go through this because what you're going to see is going to just bless you without a doubt here. But I want you to see the parallel, and not just a parallel, but what happened on Pentecost was a repeat of history. You were seeing history repeat itself. Now, in Deuteronomy chapter 4, Now, therefore, hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach, you for to do them that you may live and go and possess the land which the Lord God your fathers giveth you. Now he's not talking about Levitical law that came later. He is talking about from Mount Horeb the Ten Commandments and the two statutes and according to the Hebrew language and he added no more. Levitical law comes a little later but let's take a look at this what he says here. Now which I teach you, as he says there. Now let's go here, verse 2. You shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither you sh shall you diminish aught from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I commanded you. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Baal Peor. For all men that followed Baal Peor, the Lord thy God hath destroyed them from among you. And even today we see it again. The world is engulfed in the Baal Peor religion of the ecumenical movement that's going on, led by the Catholic Church, by the Pope of Rome himself. I mean, if we have a modern-day Baal today, he is living in Italy right now and leading so many people astray. And the thing is, is God wants you back to his word. He wants you back to Shavuot, back to the day of Pentecost. He wants to fill you with that fire of Almighty God that the children of Israel witnessed some 3,500 years ago. All right, so let's continue on here. And don't be like the ecumenical movement, the Baal Peors of, of, of 3,500 years ago. Now, but ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are all alive, every one of you this day. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God uh, commanded me that you should do. So the land, whether you go to possess it, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say, 
Surely this great nation is wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who hath God so nigh unto them as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that hath statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Now keep in mind, what, look at the United States, look at Europe. What are the main laws that have been built, that the nations have built their own governments upon? It's not Levitical law, friends. It's the Ten Commandments. The United States nation is built upon the Ten Commandments. The whole European Union, all the nations are built upon the Ten Commandments. So that prophecy that Moses spoke then is a reality. But none of the nations know the, the 611 laws that we have, or 621, I forget which number it was, I think it's 611, laws that we have under Levitical law. It's Ten Commandments that they know. This is what they base all their nations on. He says, only take heed to yourself and keep thy soul diligent, lest, they, lest you forget the things that, uh, which, uh, which thine eyes have seen, unless they depart from thy heart all the days of your life, but teach them uh, to your to your sons and to your sons sons especially uh, spe, uh, especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God on Horeb now see if you look at this if you look at Shavuot the day of Pentecost most even Jewish uh, scholars and, and rabbis will teach you that it was the laws from Mount Sinai Moses doesn't mention it as Mount Sinai. He mentions the laws from Mount Horeb. See, the Levitical law comes from Mount Sinai, but the Ten Commandments and Two Statutes come from Mount Horeb. There is a difference, and he reminds you of that. See, the day that thou stoodest, or the day that you stood before the Lord your God in Horeb, when the Lord said unto me, Gather me together, See, gather me together, the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days of their, their uh, all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may that they may teach their children. And you came near and stood under the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire into the midst of heaven, with darkness and clouds and thick darkness. See, and the Lord spoke unto you out of the midst of the fire. You heard the voice of the words, but saw no similitude. Only you heard a voice. And he declared unto you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, even the Ten Commandments. And he wrote them upon two tables of stone. And the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you the statutes and judgments that you might do them in the land, whether you go over to possess it. Take ye therefore good heed to yourselves, for you saw no manner of similitude uh, on the day that the Lord spoke unto you in Horeb out of the midst of the fire lest you corrupt yourselves and make you graven images and similitude of any figure in the likeness of male or female. Friends, do you realize on the day of Pentecost, when the, when the cloven tongues was separated upon each one of them, it was a fulfillment of what happened to the children of Israel 3,500 years ago. For them, it was 1,500 years before that. God had come down in the sight of the whole congregation in the pillar of fire and he spoke to them. But the thing was is they did not receive it into their heart. They received it on the table of stones. Did not God say in his word, I believe it's in the book of Hebrews, if I'm not mistaken, Hebrews chapter 10, did he not say that he would write it upon the tables of your heart? This is what happened on the day of Pentecost. The same fire that fell what? 50 days after the Passover in the wilderness at the foot of Mount Horeb, God came down in the pillar of fire. There was no similitude, no images, no nothing, no male, no female, nothing that you could do any kind of image of. But he come down and he let the whole congregation partake of the Spirit of God being in their presence. But he only wrote it on the stones. Now, he said, let your heart, let it, let the, what did he say? Let the laws of God be written upon the tables of your heart. You see? Then he also says, bind them on your arm. Put them on your doorpost. Put them everywhere. But you know what? Let me tell you something. You can't put Levitical laws that we have, 611, we cannot put them all on the doorpost of our house. But you could put the Ten Commandments there, couldn't you? See? You could put it in your heart. 
Now what is it? That fire that came down on Mount Horeb comes down and it lives inside of you. If you're willing to allow Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, to come and live inside of you, then you too can be filled with the Spirit of Almighty God. You can have your own Shavuot. The day of Pentecost is for you and is for you even now. Not some other time. It's today is the day. Okay? Now, another one I want to share with you. Acts 21, just so you know that what I'm saying to you, because remember, did you, did you remember the scripture where it says that they will take, the day will come, they, uh, 10 people of the nations will take a hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew and say, show us your ways. It's not talking about the Levit Levitical ways. You guys ain't got time to learn all that. But teach us, teach us what? You, you, need, to, you need to learn the, the 10 commandments for sure. Many people seem to have forgotten them. But also, even the feast days and things like that. Do you not know that the, the Feast of Tabernacles will be celebrated in the millennial reign? See, this is what it is. And I believe that that skirt of the Jew is going to be the two witnesses. They will come down. And then you will learn those ways. Now, also, Acts 21. I just wanted to share one more with you here. Because I think it's important that you know this one here. This is where Paul comes down and he meets James. Okay? And now... If you look at that, what's interesting about it, it says, and it, uh, let me get down to verse 21 here. Uh, Paul comes in, he meets James. James is the actual brother of Yeshua. Uh, and even historical documentation writes about him. They called him James the Just. Even the Jews really had a lot of uh, respect for him. It says, and when, the, when they heard it, they glorified the Lord and said unto him, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews. See, Paul has come down, James is talking to him. How many thousands thousands of Jews there are which believe and they are zealous of the law. I still don't believe he's talking about that Levitical law. They were still keeping, in other words, they, they hold dear to their heart the Ten Commandments that God had originally given. And they are informed of thee that thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses, saying that they ought not to circumcise their children, neither to walk after the customs. What is it therefore? The multitude must needs come together, for they were they, for they will hear that thou art come. Do therefore this that we say to thee. We have four men which have a vow on them. Them take and purify thyself with them, and, and be at ch charges with them, that they may shave their heads, and all may know that those things whereof they were informed concerning thee are nothing, but that thou thyself also walk orderly, and keepest the law, as touching the Gentiles which believe we have written, and concluded that thou observe no other such things, save only that they keep themselves from being from things offered to idols, and from blood, and from strangled, and from fornication. So see, friends, even the Gentiles are not commanded of these things. But the Jewish believers, like James, they still kept those things dear. But they had received Yeshua. They had received the fire of Pentecost. James was sitting in that upper room. But that law had become written on the table of his heart. Not a commandment, not written in stone that he had to go out and just keep some stone. But now, with love in his heart, and we're not talking about something hard. Thou shalt not kill. Do we not believe in that commandment? You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Is that so hard? But we need these things written in our heart. Why? You know, therefore, then we will keep that love of God. Remember, Jesus gave two commandments, and he said, all the law hangs upon these two. Love your neighbor as yourself, and love the Lord thy God with all your heart. If you do this, then you're keeping what God has commanded you for this day. I'm Stephen Benoon on Shavuot, here on the day of Pentecost in Jerusalem a fulfillment of God's promise to you. Shalom.